Cheers, dear. Cheers. Click. All right, so we are talking about paper this morning. This is right now, by the way, which you know from the title screen. But anyway, so we got three different notebooks that are all new. Yes. They're all worth talking about. And they all have different things going on. Yeah. It's, so, not, it's not every day we carry a new notebook. We line. don't carry paper that often. There's just there's only so much you can do with paper to make it new and interesting or, and fresh. Or a lot of the new paper that comes out is like Kickstarter type stuff and they're yeah. not like widely distributed. So it's it's interesting when we can carry a new, reliable, known paper brand. So we'll start with um, one that we so there's a little backstory with this one. Used to carry it. I mean, we've carried this one since day one. It was in our Fuley first Pans. order, yeah. Um, so, Quavatis Habana. Um, it originally started out with 90 gram white paper. About a year or so after we started carrying it, they Maybe switched over even. to 85 gram ivory paper. And just over time, sales kind of dwindled. It just wasn't as popular as the 90 gram white paper well, was. They, they only had ruled, and they had. They eventually came out with blank. But the ruled were blank really, is not very popular really for tiny. us. Really tiny. It was like five and a half millimeter ruling lined. So it was just, you know, it was that it wasn't as popular. It's a slightly larger format than like your typical A5, like a Leuch term. Um, so there you go, just for a size. It's like six and a quarter by comparison. nine and a quarter. So anyway, it is back with the white 90 gram Clairefontaine paper in a dot grid. Yes. So we were excited to pick this back up because this checked all the boxes of all the things that we knew were popular and that people wanted. And mm -hmm. honestly, they're just we don't carry a lot of white paper hardcover notebooks. No, we don't. Because um, Leuchtturm's off white and Rhodia is ivory. And I think in general, off white is more common, but Claire Fontaine especially is known oh, for their paper. smooth, bright white paper. So uh, for I us, use, this is an improvement. I use Claire Fontaine almost exclusively. Um, we got your ribbon bookmark here. So yes, um, we have three colors, turquoise, black, and raspberry. There are mm -hmm. some other colors out there, but we started with what we thought would be the most popular. Mm -hmm. It does say made in the USA. So it, it, the paper comes from Claire Fontaine in France, but it is bound and finished off in New York. Um, yeah, rounded corners, dot grid paper, 80 sheets. It gives you 160 pages. So for those who aren't familiar with sheets and pages, they're different. A sheet is a it's piece like of paper. A physical sheet, which has two sides to it. A page is one page, one side two of page. It. So, so we always include both on our site. So six, 80 sheets, 160 pages. Yep. So this is the Habana. It also has the um, inner pocket. pocket in the back. Boom. So you can put your random things that you want to carry with you. Well, if you like have notes or business cards or whatever it might be. Um, were we going to like write on these? I guess we can talk through them all and then write on them. We can. I mean, Clairefontaine paper is a pretty known quantity. Um, I'm a big fan of it. You can write on it and we can show it out to the, I don't know how quick, easily you'll be able to get in there, Andy, but um, you can go ahead and write on it. It's going to be great stuff. I love um, Clairefontaine. The thing that I've always loved about the Habana especially, I actually like the larger format because I have, I have big hands. So for me, having a slightly larger notebook is nice. I don't have to go all the way to an A4, but I get a little more, um, you know, runway. I got runway. some, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, maybe we'll zoom in later, um, really nice shading on mm -hmm. this paper. Yeah. That, um, this is Yamabuto. The thing I love about, the thing I love about bright white paper, especially Clairefontaine, is it's going to show off the ink really well. It's going to get a true color to what the ink is, and it's and not going to have... And then check out the other side. You really can't see any of that at all. So you can easily write, and this is with a broad uh, broad nib, so you can easily write on both sides of the page. Mm -hmm. So love Clairefontaine paper. Again, I use it in all of my normal daily life. And it's really good. It lays flat really nicely too. It's got a sewn um, binding, so it's going to be very durable. I actually have my own... Granted, I, yeah, haven't been carrying this, I haven't been carrying this around every day, but I have mine from 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, so this has the original white paper in it, too. This one's a lined version, but this has, like, all my notes from when we first started the business and books wow. I was reading and stuff, so. Yeah, so it can hold up over time. Yeah, it lays flat very, very easily. Mm hmm And then, speaking of Clairefontaine paper, Quilatis also put Clairefontaine paper in... A this new journal format. Life Journal Infinite. So they, Quavatis primarily makes journal or mm. uh, planners. Planners. So like dated planners. The paper is not as fountain pen friendly, no. um, but their notebooks, uh, they're putting some good paper in here. So this is the, the Life Journal Infinite. We have two colors, a purple and a black. And this is the bullet journal for the people who don't <clears throat> want to have to do all their own formatting. So this, I mean, seriously, it takes a lot of time. Now, some it's people true. love it. And if you love it, then this is not for you. 
But if you like the concept of bullet journaling, but you don't want to spend a lot of time having to like draw out your grids and you're like, I don't know where to start, this is the notebook for you. Mm -hmm. So, um, gosh, there's a lot to, to, to show. <laughs> I mean, there, it, you know, it kind of explains. Let's hit some of the highlights here. Yeah, it kind of explains the whole thing, the annual schedule, your index, your key, just some bullet journaling principles, um, kind of gives you an overview, and then here's your index. So, um, it, and then it has what page number it's on. So obviously there are numbered pages, um, as any good bullet journal would have. Your key, your annual schedule, and then you get like a couple like blank dot grid pages kind of in between that you can use for whatever you want. And then here comes your monthly overview. So you write the month, you fill in the date. So this is great because you can get this any year. You can start any time. You don't have to wait for January. Mm -hmm. um, this is yours to do with as you wish. It does start on Monday, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Just is what it is. And then here's your week. So again, you can write all your days and all your things <laughs> <laughs> on here. So you got your weeks and then... Um, you know, again, some dot grid pages in between. So the thing kind of repeats. You can kind of use this as a perpetual planner. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it's got a bunch of blank dot grid paper. You got a thing for books, for music, films, restaurants. Gives you some like prompts. For yeah, that you can more give blank paper. Yep, um, pocket again, the pocket in the back. So this again, the 90 gram white Clairefontaine paper. So if you want a bullet journal that's giving you the layout for you, that's super fountain pen friendly, here it is. Um, just to show again how it writes. Um, so see, I don't even know how to like properly do this. So do I just start like just Monday? Right on it. <laughs> this is the week of May. What week is it? Thirteenth? Today's the fifteenth year. I know, but the week started yes. on the thirteenth. Oh, the thirteenth, yeah. So this would then be Friday, May seventeenth. I'm not using this properly at all. But you know what day that is? It's my birthday. Woo woo. Watch out that day. Yay! <laughs> and then just to see how it writes over here. It writes beautifully. Sometimes when you get colored paper, thumb mm. doesn't work as well. Um, but again, no lead through, no show through. This is again the same 90 gram Clairefontaine paper. So, And these um, are supposed to be good for markers too, if you're into that. So if you mm -hmm. use fountain pens and markers. Yeah. I'm sure Sharpies will be able to bleed through a little more, but I mean, not Sharpie, as much as, Sharpies will bleed through anything. not as much as like a Leuchtturm or a Moleskin or something like that. So super smooth, highly recommend. And then finally, and that's, sorry, that's $25 yes. for that. The it's Havana's, a little more, but you, I mean, you get a lot more pages. Um, 213 numbered pages, five index pages, annual schedule, 12 undated monthly grids, 60 undated weekly grids. You get a lot of pages in here. Yep. A lot of sheets, a lot of pages. Finally, um, launching today is the Endless Works mm -hmm. Recorder Notebook. So this is an A5 size, two colors, a black, which is called Infinite Space, and a blue, which is called Deep Ocean. Mm -hmm. And why do we like this guy? Well, besides lots of little, nice little besides features. Besides things that drop out of it when you open it. Um, it features <laughs> not 90 gram white Clairefontaine paper, but 68 gram Tomoe River paper in dot grid format. So um, we do have the Colorverse Nebula notebooks, which have 52 mm -hmm. gram Tomoe River paper. If you're mm -hmm. looking for the heart. And then we have Goulet notebooks, which are not like hardbound. So if you're looking for a hardbound Tomoe River paper <laughs> notebook, this is the one that you're gonna wanna look at. Mm -hmm. um, so 68 gram is a little bit thicker. Um, which is better which for- Which is better for bleed through. Yeah. Or that's ghosting. There ghosting. is basically no bleed through with Tomoe no, River. That's true. Either version. They're, um, <laughs> you got this. Pretty, they have these like turquoise accents, which I think are nice. Mm -hmm. um, ribbon bookmarker, numbered pages, it's all dot grid. Again, you got the pocket in the back. Everyone's kind of got like the same standard features. Yeah, that's what people want. You get a little sticker, ideas are endless. And then Is it, it a sticker or a tattoo? It looks like a sticker. And then it has this uh, registry too. You can scan a QR code and you can actually register uh, your specific notebook. Um, it does have a what do you do when you register? That's a good question. I actually <laughs> am just realizing right now I don't know what that is. 
uh, because it's not something that's not like the main draw for me for this notebook. It's it's a bound Tomoe River notebook. Table of contents in the beginning here. It does say there are 16 perforated pages, but I'm not sure where in the notebook they are. I believe they're in the back. In the back? Yeah, I believe so. Um, so again, we can write on this thing. Yeah, so go you for can it. see how it writes. And what's cool about this is this is a this is a relatively new company um, that they're starting oh, up. Nice we've actually known about this brand for pff, eight months, and we've been working with them because we had various versions of their original notebook, and we asked them about adding certain things like number, number pages, pages. And, Whoops. Uh, certain other aspects of the notebook that um, we feel have made some improvements. So they've done a really good job of receiving feedback, listening to. Um, the community, listening to the, the existing customers they had, listening to us. So we're excited about this. And it's twenty two ninety five for this, which is not bad for a Tomoe River bound notebook. Um, and the format's really nice, very portable. So there you go. You, you can kind of see your writing through on the other side, but it's definitely still writable. Again, this is a broad, um, if you're using mm -hmm. anything less than that. <laughs> well, and it's 68 gram paper as opposed to like the Clairefontaine 90 gram. That's where you're going to see, but the paper quality is still amazing. So we're really excited to bring these three new, really, really good quality paper yeah. journals to you all. So we don't we, we don't do yeah. paper often again, not just because you know more people are into pens or ink, but um, it's, it's the paper we're quality. very picky yeah. about the paper because it like number one, it has to be found pen friendly. If it's not found pen friendly, it's like nope, sorry. I this mean, is, I have, this is our core crowd here. I have like two shelves of notebooks over there of things that we've sampled and tested that it's just like ah, I love the format but this is paper is not up to snuff so we're very very picky about that um, but anyway we're excited to bring you these love to get your feedback on them see what you think so you can leave comments here on YouTube or um, you know go check them out on gulaypens.com let our team know what you think uh, and I check out these sweet new notebooks messing all these up. yeah you don't know what you're doing that's all right so anyway <laughs> thanks so much for watching and right, right on, on.